Well, hello, everybody. I'm Chris with Geeks On Tour. And I'm Jim. This is Fun With Photos. We had a lot of fun with photos last week because we were in Hawaii and there was a group of us. So today I'm going to talk about what are group photo albums and how do they work. So in this image here, you see that there are a bunch of photos and each one has a name in the lower left-hand corner. That's the person who contributed that photo to the album. You can look at a group album. Now, I'm using Google Photos here. This can be done with some other systems. I think Google Photos does it the best. So, and that's what I use. In Google Photos, you have your choice of looking at either the album view, which shows all the photos in date order, or the activity view, which shows you what the latest thing that happened on the album was, be it a new photo from somebody, or be it a comment or a like by somebody. So it, it gives you a whole conversation area as well as just a set of photos. Now, one question is, who do the photos belong to? Well, the album, assuming that I make the album and I made this Hawaii album, the album belongs to me. I am the owner. I can do things, you know, I can delete photos. I can remove people from the album. But if you contributed a photo, say Bonnie contributed a photo, she owns that photo. Now, I can save that photo to my library, in which case I now own that copy. So if you contribute a photo to a group album, know that you are giving people permission to own a copy of your photo. But it still maintains the information about who shared it. I can only edit photos that I own. And here is that, our Hawaii Cruise with Geeks now, I started this album before the cruise even started, and I asked people to put in some photos of themselves and introduce themselves. So you can see that this one is contributed by Linda Barchman, and this one is Bonnie, Joellen, Chris, Aaron. It is just such a rich experience. Now we are on the trip. This is a tour around Oahu. This photo was contributed by Linda Belcher. And look at that, that green mountain. Just loved it. Now, if I want to see any of the comments, notice that this picture has a comment on it. I click on the picture, and now I see the activity that goes along with that picture. You can bet there was some experimenting with photos and some, and some teaching about photos going on on this trip. I can back out then to the whole album, or I can see all the activity by clicking on this little chat icon. Now on a computer, you see the activity over on the right hand side and the album on the left. On a phone, you have to choose. You see either the activity or, or the album. All right, and every time there is activity, if you have joined the album, you get a notification. So you see what is going on in, in real time. And people would contribute photos each day, each every morning, every afternoon. So people went different places. So here, for example, is a turtle. I didn't see any turtles. This photo was contributed by Aaron. Now, I told you that I can edit my own photo. Chris Gould, this one is mine. And there is the edit button. I can do things to this photo. I don't need to, so I'm going to click X. But editing is available. Now, on this picture of the turtle, this one belongs to Aaron. I cannot edit Aaron's photo. However, I can save it. If I save it, there is now a copy of this turtle photo in my photo library. I still can't edit this photo, but if I went to my library and found this turtle picture, I could edit it there. So then how do you create a group album? 
Well, it's, if you've ever created an album in Google Photos, it's the same thing. You just create an album and then you share that album. When somebody else joins, it is now a group album. So let me show you how that goes. We took a selfie during the show here. And let's say I want to make an album to share with you all, with the Tech for Seniors group. I open that one photo. I click the three dots and add to album. And I make a new album. And I call it Tech for Samples. And I'm done. I now have an album. How do I share it with you? I click the share button and I could invite people individually, but it's so much easier to just create a link, a link to the album. I copy the link and now I'm going to paste that link into the chat and there you go. Everybody should now be able to follow along with the rest by going to that link in the Zoom meeting. But that's using your computer where you're on this Zoom meeting. What if you wanted to use your phone to follow along? Well, I can make a QR code. There's lots of ways to make a QR code. I'm going to do it the easiest way and go to a incognito window, paste that link that I just copied. Now when I click up on the title bar, I have the option to make a QR code. And I'll leave that on the screen while I go to the, to the phones now. Here is my phone on the right. And I just want to show you that I can see that same album. The album is in my library because I own it. There is the Tech for Senior Samples. There is one picture on it. Now this is Jim's phone. How is he going to get the link to that album? He just scans the QR code. I'm just scanning the code from the computer screen. And now his phone is seeing the Tech for Senior samples. Now you, do ha you don't have to use Google Photos for this to work. You do have to have a Google account. So if you've never used Google Photos and you log in here, it will say, join. And now he can, oh, look at that. So I see some other people, Bob, Huey have all already added photos. <laughs> Just by scanning the QR code. Well, they probably, they clicked the link, probably clicked the link oh, in the, okay. and did it on the computer. I scan the QR code. Uh, this is Jim's phone. And I just tap add photos. And he also took a photo at the beginning of the meeting. And I just select that photo and tap add. And every time, no, every time a new photo was added, notice I get a notification <laughs> and it's just buzzing away here. So is that cool or what? We were on this trip and during the day, people went in different directions. We didn't all do the same thing. So we didn't go to the Haleakala tr crater, but because Bonnie did, we saw photos of it and we saw it right away. So that's creating a group album. There's nothing special about it. You just create an album and then share it. You can share it with a link. You can share it with a QR code of that link. And once people have the link, they can add their own photos. Once they've started adding their own photos and they go back to Google Photos, they find the album under the sharing button. Okay. And if you use iCloud and don't use Google Photos, I wrote an article. You can add photos to this album as well. There's a couple extra steps. If you go to geeksontour.com slash adding dash iCloud, you can read all about it. As the owner, I can turn off collaboration. I mean, if this link got out to the world, somebody might add some photos that aren't, aren't right. What I would do is go in, I go to the options of the album, the Tech for Seniors that I just made, and options, 
And it's this one right here that allows people to add photos to it, collaborate. If I turn that off, nobody can add any photos anymore. But I can turn it back on. I will later. Any time that you have a group get together and there's things to take pictures of, try using a group photo album. You'll like it. <laughs>